hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to display a loading spinner bar inside your react.js application so these loading spinners will be very much different it can take the different kinds of shapes so the name of the dependency we will be using a special dependency for this for our react.js application so the dependency name is react loader spinner so basically it will be an animated spinner or loader so whenever you just uh, want to retrieve some data from the api or some in the background this will be shown to the user so this will be having great user experience so this is the actual module which is there and it's a very popular library you will see that 96659 weekly downloads are there so it's a very good library so basically various kinds of shapes are also there which give you the feeling so of great user experience so i have written a complete blog post on this topic all the source code will be there inside video description so you can see this is a screenshot so various kinds of uh, loading animations are there various shapes are there circle is also there you can see audio ball triangle bars circles grid hertz oval rings puff tailspin three dots you can also change the color as well height width all these things you can change so i will be showing you step by step on how to implement this so this is a full source code alongside with a complete example if you want to get all the source code you can go to the video description link here and simply you can copy all the source code so now let's get started guys by building this application so i will go to my projects directory and here i will create a new brand new react.js project so i will make a new directory which is loading spinner i will go into this directory and inside this i will create a new react.js project by npx create react app and then loading app so basically this will create a brand new application of react inside this directory so you will see creating a new react app so it will install all the packages so just wait so if you are joining it for the very first time guys then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well so you can see it is just installing these packages so this will hardly take uh, 15 to 20 seconds so if you have a very nice computer then then it will take less time so it totally depends upon your internet speed and how much you have ram so it is just installing the packages so just wait so now it is installing the dependencies so you can see that so now i think it is done so now it is done guys so we can move into the projects directory and open this inside uh, visual studio code text editor so simply this i will open inside visual studio code text editor so this is our brand new react.js project guys so if i just basically launch it you will see that if i want to launch it i will write npm start so this will start this react.js application on localhost 4200 so it is starting the development server oh sorry localhost 3000 so it is taking some time here so just now you can see that this is our react.js application hello world react.js application so now what we need to do is that we need to remove all this stuff we don't need this so we can remove this and also remove the logo and if i refresh it you will see that all is gone so now we need to install this dependency guys which is very much easy which is react loader spinner so simply the command will be simple just go to your command line stop this application and just install it react loader spinner 
so just install this dependency by executing this command and uh, basically you need to add a flag to it of force so basically we do it because uh, if the dependency is not compatible with the latest version of react then we just need to add dash dash force to it to install it so now this is installed guys so uh, now we what we need to do is that we need to import this dependency inside our react.js application so just we will go into our dependency and the very first thing we will do we will import from what we have installed which is react loader spinner so inside this dependency we need to we can do audio first of all let me take a very simple example to show the audio sorry loading spinner so inside this guys we will be showing this so this will be audio close the tag and this takes some parameters guys which is the width how much width will be there so this can be 100 height can also be 100 color you can give any color let's suppose i give it blue and you can also give a label to it which is loading so that's it guys if you now refresh the application hopefully you will see just start the application npm start so now basically you will see that uh, loading bar will be there or blue color So now you can see that guys this is the loading bar you can see here this is very much animated loading bar and this is shown in many audio based applications when you are selecting a song so these are the loading bars which you see inside the applications you can change the color as well let's suppose i want to change to black so if you now refresh it it will now change to black so you can just change to any color favorite color that you have you can change to red yellow and also you can change the width and the height as well so if you want a higher width you can see that you can change the height as well you can see the height is also changed this is the one animated I am just showing you guys in this tutorial. So you can also in the documentation you will find out that there are various uh, things that you can do here. There is one such which is called as bars. You can also instead of audio you can use bars. So if I refresh it you can see this is now different bars here you will see that. this is now different here you can see that the animation changes so all this is given inside my blog post if you just try to read it all these parameters are given this is ball triangle if you want to import it simply import it here and now you can see that this is ball triangle You can also have a circle loading bar as well. You can see that. So various shaped animations are there for you to show loading bars. So it's a very nice library which is used by many people, many developers. You can also have a grid loading bar as well you can see that you can also show hertz loading bar as well so replace it by hertz
you can see that so various shapes are available to you oval if you want to show oval you can see that I think this is more wi widely used so many people use this oval shaped uh, loading bar but you can try out any sort of combination that you want all these things are customizable so you can choose your favorite loading bar which is where uh, you can see that you can see this is ring bar tail spin so you can see that this is also widely used this is the loading bar and lastly there are three dots which is you can see that and now what we can do is that guys we can make it slightly more dynamic by adding a simple condition which is loading set loading we are using some hooks for this so we will use the hue state hook and the default value for this will be false when we load the application so we can just toggle it so you can see it is successfully imported this from react library which is use state hook and here we will be have a simple button so here we will simply say toggle loading bar so when the user clicks on this button this is on click so this function will execute which is the custom function we will write which is toggle loading so we need to write this function toggle loading so inside this function guys we will just compare it basically if uh, the loading is false like this then we will make this true set loading to true if the value is true then in that case we need to make it false so we are just using this uh, use state function to just manipulate the state of the react.js application which is this simple loading variable now we need to display this based upon the condition so this is quite easy so right here we will simply if the loading is true we will use the ternary operator for this so if you study the programming languages you have seen this operator so basically it is saying that if the loading parameter is true in that case we need to show this so we will show this and if the loading is false then we will simply say processing completed and now guys what will happen now you can see the value is false so if the uh, application loads for the very first time this will be shown to the user processing completed let me show you you can see that processing completed so once I hit this button which is toggle loading bar this will be shown to the user you can see that once again if I hit this processing completed like this so you can just make this customize this accordingly when you request some data from the server or API you show the loading bar when it is completed then it will be hidden so you can use the same logic that I have used using react hooks to show and hide the loading bar so in this way guys you can use this loading bar library inside your react.js application all the source code will be there inside video description and uh, i will be seeing you in the next video